Um, I was talking to um, Ryan about this yesterday. I mean, you know, over the years, this line has really established like an identity. I feel like, you know, just a, or this team, even just a, a power, a power team, uh, particularly up front on offense. Um, mm -hmm. Do you sense that that identity has kind of been solidified here lately? Yeah, I think it's something that, uh, you know, we all take a lot of pride in up front, um, you know, being physical, you know, playing together is super important. You know, it's not just, you know, uh, one guy missing a, his job here or there, you know, I think playing together and, uh, you know, playing on those combinations and all that stuff really comes together, to, you know, come for an identity and, uh, you know, everyone's playing hard, we feed off each other and, uh, you know, it's become really important to us. Hey, one other question on real quick on a different topic. Um, I mean, Anthony, hmm. He got hurt yesterday. We'll see what happens. But like he's mm -hmm. a big guy, and I'm sure that gets defense's attention. And all that. I mean, do you do you think sure. like defenders like I mean he's he's gonna get? I guess what I'm saying is not saying they're targeting him or anything terrible. I'm saying a guy like that is probably going to get the defense's best shot. Do, do you feel like there's something to that, and that's just kind of the reality? Yeah, I think that's just human nature. When you see a guy that's that big and that physically imposing, that. You know, I, I think that's something that defenses probably, um, you know, look at and be like, OK, we got to wrap this guy up. You know, obviously, Anthony's, you know, a great athlete and, a, you know, great, you know, big, imposing, uh, you know, person and athlete. And, um, you know, he, he's going to keep doing his thing and, you know, excited, you know, for all that. Thanks. James. Well, can you take us through the Zach Moss 56-yard touchdown run? And also, are you the type of guy who's going to run down there? Or are you just like, all right, job's done, I'm going to the sideline? <laughs> um, you know, that was obviously something really exciting to get a big explosive at that point in the game. You know, I think it was, you know, a third and short, something like that. Um, you know, but for, you know, five guys and, you know, the tight ends included to, uh, you know, everyone's on their block, everyone's, you know, finishing, you know, Braden and Q both had, you know, big finishes on that, some uh, pancake blocks. You know, that, that was awesome. You know, they, they were physical. You know, R Ryan did a great job getting the play started. And, you know, for everyone to, you know, be on their block and, you know, to finish and strain and for Zach to, you know, find a way to get through there and, uh, you know, finish the run, you know, hit his head on the goalpost. It was awesome. So uh, that, that was super exciting. And then do you do you run down there or do you? Do you oh, yeah, yeah. No, I know. You got to run down there, show him some love. You know, he it's, it's exciting to celebrate together. You know, when you score, you got to get down there, you know, hit him on the head a little bit. And uh, it, it, it was exciting. It was really fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dial, what was it like to see the play where uh, Zaire and Buck got the stop on um, Derrick Henry, the fourth down, obviously? Um, how big of a play was that? And, and how have you seen just Zaire kind of take another step this season? Yeah, I mean, it was a huge play, obviously, in the game. Um, you know, fourth and one. We're in a big personnel, kind of our goal line. Um, you know, just I'm out there setting the edge and then just, uh, you know, you see the running back coming and then it's, it's just an immediate stop. So um, obviously Zaire gets better, you know, he, he's been a baller, but he, he gets better every week. You know, uh, he plays with that chip on the shoulder and uh, he truly believes he's the best in the league and, and he plays like it. So um I mean, it's just been great to be able to uh, be a part of a defense with him and have him leading this defense and uh, kind of all of us playing with that fire. And then one quick follow-up, who coordinates the defensive celebrations? You know, when Julian gets a pick at the end, like, do y'all go over this, like, pregame or after practice? Like, who who decides what it'll look like when you make that big play? Nah, it's, it's just kind of spontaneous, you know, uh, kind of in the moment, whatever you're feeling. I don't know if some guys have a little – some guys might have their little dances they know they're about to do. But uh, for me, it's just in the moment, you know, uh, everybody start running towards the end zone and you just get excited. So. Yeah. Dio, how would you describe your comfort level and, I guess, confidence from year one to where you are now? It's been sort of a, a, a gradual process. Where are you right now? Yeah, I mean, I feel uh, a thousand times more confident than I did, you know, obviously in year one and then last year as well. Um, just, you know, in the run game, the pass game, physicality-wise, uh, just understanding, you know, my responsibilities in the defense, I feel a thousand times more uh, confident in my ability to go out there and perform on Sunday. So, um, you know, I've been blessed to have the opportunities and and be able to get the reps to to grow that confidence. So. 
uh, that's that's just something I'm gonna, trying to continue to grow in and and take steps in. Doesn't increased productivity kind of go hand in hand with increased confidence and comfort? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, this game's about confidence. You know, it's about going out there and knowing you're you're gonna dominate. You're not, you're gonna uh, you're gonna play at a high level. So um, it kind of works hand in hand. Uh, more confidence results in more productivity, and more productivity results in more confidence. So it, it just kind of plays off each other. What's it? What's it do for you guys? Just when Buck is playing, I think he played eighty percent of the snaps uh, one week after being hurt. He just feels like he's he's always out there if he can be. He's always taking double teams. Like, what does that do for you guys as a defensive line? Shoot, I mean it, it's it's uh it makes you want to work harder. You know, Buck's one of the toughest players, probably the toughest player I've ever played with. Um, he's willing to fight through injuries. He's not the type of guy that takes you know takes plays off, even though he's obviously been doing this at a high level for a while. Um, you know, and and as a D line and as a defense, everyone just tries to emulate that kind of toughness and that kind of uh, that kind of mentality. You know, um, he's not here to make excuses for himself or for anyone else, and you see that show up. So, you know, to see him come up, coming off of a, you know, a week where he wasn't entirely healthy and coming back the next week and playing that amount of snaps is just shows you how tough he is and how how dedicated he is to this team and this game.